This video is designed to give the basics for getting your fence started and installing the posts. Before you begin, identify any obstructions that you may encounter. To avoid injury and damages, make sure you have your utility lines, as well as any underground irrigation systems, marked so your digging does not come into contact with them. Be sure to follow all local building codes and obtain a permit where necessary. Gather the tools you will need so they are easily accessible as you proceed. Be sure to include safety equipment, such as goggles and gloves. Install the line stakes and run a string line attaching it to the two stakes. Use a tape measure and mark the locations for each post. Check the CAD diagram for your fence model to determine the number of inches from center of post to center of post. After marking the post positions, begin to dig the post holes. The 5 inch posts will need a 12 inch diameter hole, and the 4 inch posts will need a 10 inch diameter hole. We recommend the depth of the holes to be 30 to 36 inches, but check your local codes and take into consideration the frost line for your area. We recommend setting all posts with wet premixed concrete. Use two 80 pound bags of quickcrete for each 5 inch post and two 60 pound bags for each 4 inch post. Once you have determined the exact location of the post and you know that it is level and plumb, fill the remainder of the hole with concrete to 4 inches below ground level. Be sure to work the concrete into the concrete hole on the post. A tamping bar or spud bar will help you to work out air pockets and push cement into the cement hole. We strongly recommend that you install one post and one panel at a time. Setting multiple posts in concrete in advance could be a problem if you do not install your panels to the exact CAD diagram measurement. If you are filling the inside of your posts with concrete, you must tape the rail ends so the concrete does not seep into the rails and cause sagging. We recommend a minimum of two inches of clearance between the bottom of the fence panel and the ground. This will allow clearance for the gate to swing freely. Measure, assemble, and install your gates first. The installed gate will set the height of the fence. Failure to do so may result in a poor installation and a possible shortage of space for the gate. When gluing picket caps, place a thin bead of glue inside the picket and press the picket cap onto the picket. We do not recommend gluing the post caps onto the post in case you want to change the type of caps you have at a later date. Instead, use a small amount of clear silicone caulk on the inside corner of the post cap. This will properly secure the cap without permanently gluing it.